Good evening everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm bringing you a much older puzzle than I normally do. Normally I bring you um, new puzzles that have just been set or that people have sent me. This is a puzzle that I think is like over a year old, maybe even 18 months or even possibly older. Um, this is from the Cracking the Cryptic Discord archive, and this is a puzzle numbered under a thousand. Um, so this would be from possibly mid 2020. I had didn't check the exact date. And the reason that I'm doing this puzzle is I was recently having a discussion with some setters where they were talking about how a lot of the puzzles that are being set at the moment are using constraints in a way that we weren't using them like even three or four months ago and definitely not a year ago. And if you don't know the tricks, then you're probably not going to be able to solve the puzzles. And I thought maybe a way of making sure that people don't feel as daunted by the puzzles that are being presented is to grab some older puzzles and present those um, and make those available and sort of bring them to the surface again. So finding some older puzzles that were rated quite highly um, and do those. And maybe if I grab some harder puzzles and do those from um, a year or so ago, maybe those will be a little bit more approachable by today's standards. I don't know. Let's... And the... This was a puzzle that was highly rated. So, you know, bringing it back and, and resurfacing it, nothing wrong with that. Puzzles shouldn't expire. So anyway, uh, this is a puzzle called The Invisible Force by Just For Kicks. Um, and I reached out to Just For Kicks and asked if I could do it. And he said yes. So yay. Um, so this is a non-consecutive puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be used without repetition. Um, and also any digit that is orthogonally adjacent to uh, another digit cannot be consecutive. So for example, next to this one, I could not put a two in any of those cells. And that's all I've got to go with. So now I need to figure out how to solve this puzzle. I have no idea. I've not attempted this before. Let's give it a shot. So, what do we have to go on? Uh, row 5 looks constrained. I'm missing 1, 2, and 3. I cannot put 3 into the middle. But there's actually no consecutive constraint on that. Okay, what else can I get? There's 1. There is 1s. Okay. Four is in one of those two because two fours pointing in and four can't be consecutive with five. Wow. Seven and nine will be in those. Seven will be in those. That's not that helpful. Well, nothing is jumping out at me. I'll say that for nothing. Three, three. So three is in one of those. Three can't be there because that would put it next to the four. So three is in one of those two. One is in one of those three. If that's a two, it would be next to a one. So that cannot be a two. But that doesn't seem to limit to anywhere else. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't put two in there because it would be next to one. I can't put two there. I can't put two there. I can't put two there. This is the only places I can put two in those columns. This is a technique I haven't seen called out in a while. That's an X-wing in twos. So what's an X-Wing? I'm not sure I've actually explained one of these on my channels before. I cannot put two into those cells because they'd be consecutive one. I cannot put two into those cells. It would be consecutive with three. I cannot put two into those cells. It would be consecutive one. I cannot put two into those cells. It would be consecutive with three. So in these columns, two is limited to these positions. 
Now, that means I cannot put two into any of these cells I'm marking in yellow. And the question is why? So if you think about it, how many twos must you have in row one and how many twos must you have in row nine? And the answer is you must have one in each because each row contains the numbers one to nine without repetition. Now, if I was to put a two somewhere in the yellow cells, so say I was to put a two here, that would mean there is no two here, but we've already proven that there is no two in any of those cells. And it would mean for me to put the two into column three and column seven, I would have to put two twos into row one, which doesn't work. So what it means is that two will either be in those two spots or those two spots, but these yellow cells cannot take a two. And I've probably not explained that very well, but that restriction may give me something because all of a sudden it means that two is restricted to these cells Actually, two is restricted. Two can't go there. Two can't go in either of those. That's a two. Two can't go there. Two can't go there. Two can't go next door. One, that's a two. That is not a two anymore. That puts a two right in the middle of the grid. No, that was wrong. That was absolutely wrong because two could still go there. So two is in one of those two cells. Did I get that wrong back here? Yes, I did. Two is in one of those two cells. Two can't, yeah, two is in one of those two. Here, two is in one of many. Okay, so two is in one of those two cells. I forgot. So here, two is in one of those, because it can't go in those, and it can't go down here. Here, so where can two go? Let's highlight the possible positions for two in red. Two can go there. Two can go there because it can't go in those cells and it can't go next to a one. Two can't go down here because this is still the X wing and it can't go next to the one or the three. So two is limited to those cells. Can't go there because that would place it next to a three. So two is in those. Two can't go there, there, or there. Two is in one of those, which means that's not a two. Two now can't go there or there. So two is in one of those cells. I forgot that one, didn't I? So when I put those in, I also needed to put that in. So we go back to here. Two is still limited to those. I've got to remember these. Here, two can't go in there, can't go in there. So two is in those. So two comes out of there. Two now is in those three positions. Two in this box can't be next to three, so it's in one of those. This has not gone as well as I'd hoped. It's in one of those. And it's in one of those. And it's in one of those. This really has not gone as well as I'd hoped. Oh, I can take that one out. Oh, that can't be a two. So this absolutely must be a two. So that must be a one. That must be a three. That must be a two. And that couldn't be a two because of that one. And we had two down to two positions in that box. So that's got to help. 
So two comes out of all of those, which takes two out of there. Two can't go there. Two on the X-wing must be there and there. So now the X-wing is resolved, which puts two there, puts two into those, except two must be in one of those two now. So that's not the two, that's the two, which means that's not the one, that's the one. We've got the two in this box, we've got the two in this box, we've got the two in this box. We've got the two in this box. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of all of the highlighting. We've got that two. So two, two, two is in one of those two. Two here is in one of those two. And two here is right there, which means that's not the one, that's the one. So that X-Wing on twos did help, but I had to do some hunting to find that. I don't know if that was intended or not, but I got there. Now, this seems to now be the only position I can put a four, because I can't put four down there and I can't put it next to a five. So that's a four. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. I cannot put seven or nine next to an eight. So that's a six. These are seven and nine. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, seven, and nine. Well, that can't be seven because it's Caesar seven directly. So I've got two here and two here. Oh, that one sees that one. That's a one, which means that's a two because I can no longer put a two there. One, 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 one. It puts one right there, and I've got all the ones, and I've got all the twos. So the thing to look at now will be threes. Three can't go in any of those or there. That's a three. That puts three into one of those two, but that's next to a two. That becomes a three. Three can't go into any of those or that one. That becomes a three. Three is in one of those two, but it can't be next to the two. That becomes a three. Three is right there, and I've done all the threes. Now let's look at the fours. Pretty four. Um, so four in this box must be in one of those two. It can't be next to the three. This is actually a seven, nine pair now. Four must be in one of those two, and four must be in one of those two. Four here, can't be there, can't be next to the three, can't be next to the three, so it's in one of those two. Four up here, can't be there, can't be next to the three, so it's in one of those three. That's not great. Four in this box, however, is in one of those two, which puts four in one of those two and it can't be next to the three. So that becomes a four, that becomes a four, that is not a four, that becomes a four, that is not a four. That knocks both of those four out, which makes that the four, which makes that the four, which makes that the four, and all of these are not fours. I think that's all the fours. So let's look at fives. Because once you start getting a chain of digits, um, it starts rolling through. So one, two, three, four, these are five and six. which don't seem to be resolved. Can't put five in either of those. Five must go over here. Can't put five in either of those. Where can I see fives being restricted? That can't be a five anymore because it's next to a four. So five is in one of those three. No, five can't be there anymore either. This is a seven, nine pair. Five is in one of those two and it can't be in that one. That right there is a five, which means that's a six and that's a five. That means five is across the top here and it's not next to the four. One of those two is a five. That's next to a four. That's the five. That's the seven. That is not a five. Um, five is not in one of those two. This is a two, five pair. Five cannot be next to the six. This is the two. This is the five. Um, 
I obviously got that when I got that two before, but I didn't notice. These are eight and nine, which do not seem to be resolved. So let's try and finish off the fives. Five, five, five. Five, five, five goes right there. Puts five in one of those two, which must go there. Um, that five puts five there, and I have finished all the fives. Sixes. Well, in fact, I can use that seven to get that nine and that seven. I need to put a six in here, and it can't go next to the five. This becomes an eight. That seven looks over, making that nine and that seven. This is now a six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine which again, I'm not seeing how to resolve. This is an eight or a nine, and it cannot be an eight because it's next to a seven. That's a nine, that's an eight, that's a nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six and eight. Eight can't go next to the nine. That's the six, that's the eight. Still not resolving that, but I'm mostly done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go into there. Can't put six next to a five. There's oh, six sees that, so the six goes there. This column is now complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an eight. This is seven and eight, which means this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine. This now needs one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The six makes that a seven and that a six, which hasn't resolved this yet. I will find it. At some point, I will find it. I'm coming for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an eight. These are seven and nine. Cannot have seven next to the six. That's the nine. That's the seven. That's the nine. That's the seven. The nine makes that an eight and that a nine. The eight makes that a seven and that an eight. And that completes the invisible force by Just for Kicks. A nice little gent moderately gentle um, non-consecutive puzzle with some interesting stuff in it. Um, yeah. I liked that one. That was good fun. Um, and I am going to try and do some older puzzles from the Cracking the Cryptic Archive so um, that we can work together to try and build up some of those fundamental skills um, because I've been finding I've been struggling a lot recently and maybe it's because I haven't been um, building up those basics well enough. Um, and there's a lot of good puzzles in the in older puzzles in the archive that will help us do that. So yeah, maybe this is something we can do. Please provide feedback below or email me or contact me on Discord if you think this is a good or a bad idea. If you think this is not what I should be doing, um, I'd be interested in that. If these are the sort of puzzles that you would like me to do more of, um, not necessarily this difficulty, but pulling out some of those older puzzles before everyone was using set theory and um, using arrows for parity and mod three and, and all of that sort of stuff before those were the tricks that became standard and people were just using constraints for what those constraints presented. Um, not that those more advanced tricks and the newer tricks that we're doing are bad, but um, just that people are finding more and more things that you can do with constraints as we go along. But as that happens, they become more complex. If you think that building up some of the foundations and me doing videos that do that would be useful, please also provide that feedback. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the channel, and good luck with your solving.